Hello, my name is Nadia Abdallah. I'm a communication and stakeholder specialist. I'm a champion for mental health, a women and youth uh, advocate in Africa and a Pan-African. So I'll give you a brief about how Kenya Mimi started. First of all, Kenya Mimi is a baby that I birthed in 2020 when I was appointed as a CAS or in a larger context, that is basically just a deputy minister in Kenya. Um, it started as an idea where I wanted to just collaborate and bring together youth activities at one melting pot in order for young people to be able to understand what they need to do, their roles and the different uh, ways and means in which they can become who they are. Um, it started off as just an idea, as I said, in the office uh, with three of my officers then. And what we just wanted to do first is just have an online campaign that was able to attract and bring together young Kenyans through my different social medias. However, as time went by and as we became to expand the different, um, I would say, ideas and angles, it now became a campaign that was supported by bodies like UNFPA, UNICEF and all the other INGOs that were, were around. Um, Kenya Nimimi successfully ran for about two years and 11 months or three years to be precise um, with different, um, I would say, achievements and landmarks uh, across Kenya. We had about 53 ambassadors, 47 from the counties and the rest were persons living with disability. Uh, then we had national ambassadors who each had a chance to really champion one pillar at a time and at that time just briefly we had pillars that covered education innovation technology gender equality uh, environmental sustainability but the most important one was patriotism in the country and um, once I was done serving the country, I had the vision that Kenya Nimimi would be and grow into bigger and, you know, brighter things. And this is where we are at, where we are about to really, or I am about to really hand over Kenya Nimimi to one of the most fantastic young people that I know and who have worked with. And I hope it's going to be a great uh, opportunity and also a great, I would say decision that I'm taking because Kenya Mimi can really, really go beyond borders and can really build the young people we need for this country. I mean, there were different challenges, but I just want to say, like the reason as to why Kenya Mimi became what it was, it was because it was really supported by the former president and everyone at that time who was in the government. However, the different challenges came about the normal ones where it was like funding because this was just a campaign that was being run by someone like me who was just new into the government. Um, there was also the, the challenge where people were not understanding what it was. So there was a lot of capacity building that needed to be done. And we did it to a certain extent, but once you know the transition happened, more young people wanted to be capacity built. So I'm hoping that will happen. And the other thing was the fact that we didn't have enough capacity as well uh, when it comes to like human resource because I was just working with my immediate um, officers and then the volunteers were all, I mean, who are uh, county ambassadors, they were acting as volunteers. And so a lot of times you can stretch young people to a certain extent to do, to do volunteer work, but after that there has to be some value addition. And so those are just a few challenges, but overall it was a very great campaign because I learned a lot about young people in Kenya and I managed to do and give people something that they can hold on to and they can resonate to. Yeah, um, so Sam is a great young Kenyan. I mean, he inspires me a lot. I got to know Sam from the time I was in government and I got to like interact with him and work with him in different spaces. When we was at Strathmore University, he invited me to some of the events there and I was able to speak to the young people. He's an inspiration to me and I believe to a lot of young people. Education wise, I love how he's so focused and he managed to finish school. But overall, when it comes to the social justice or when it comes to climate change and it comes to matters to do with patriotism and really building this newfound 
base of young leaders in Kenya. I think he is the right person for me to hand it over to him. Um, he's inspired me in so many ways, especially with his consistency, because sometimes I would not, you know, be as active as he is, but he would be able to push me and, you know, remind me that he needs to do this. So I think Kenya Mimi will be in great hands with Sam. And I'm looking forward to seeing what him and his team makes out of it. One thing that people don't know about me is the fact that I am very shy. As much as I come off very confident, uh, deep down, I'm very shy. What helps me is the fact that I always remind myself that I belong in certain rooms, I belong in certain places. And so that kind of boosts my, let me just say, ego to come out of my shyness and be able to do what needs to be done.